This is the uh, first pair of Ferragamos from that uh, auction buy last week to sell. And these are size 8C. And they sold via the Global Shipping Program for $120. This is a realistic lab series turntable. These are actually uh, very nice turntables. Sold by Radio Shack in the 70s. This is a Lab 400. So you can see it has some broken hinges from the dust cover and I this is one of those uh, conundrums I didn't pay very much for it maybe five dollars but it's probably worth close to 300 and that's where I had it priced I've got like 24 watchers on it but I've had it a long time somebody offered me fifty dollars I thought about it for a while and I finally decided just to take it it's the slow summertime, and $150 does a lot for my uh, outlook on the week. So this is a photo album. It's got an embossed picture of a Viking ship. And it's sort of a ghost album. It just has some uh, corner hold downs on the uh, black pages. That's all that's left. It was in pretty good shape. It was just a couple dollars at a garage sale. And it sold for $40. Another Massa unit. This is a Conair brand. It's got all the attachments. Just uh, $3 at the garage sale. And it sold for $30. This is a picket slide rule. It's kind of a short one. And I bought this yesterday at a little garage sale and near the center of town, the older part of town. That's where I always like to find the the nice uh, valuable items and uh, this was four dollars I did a little research on it as far as eBay solds uh, the highest one was hundred and five dollars and that was uh, on an auction there was 21 bidders so I priced this at hundred and thirty and it sold with just a few hours so maybe a little more research I should have priced it higher but it was a nice quick sale for $130. This was an auction pickup for $10 a couple of weeks ago. It's a uh, country junction telephone. Sort of a modern take, although it does have the, uh, the uh, rotating dial. It wasn't new in the box, but they did save the box and the phone's in really great condition and it sold for $100. This little uh, Superboy figure sure had a lot of uh, interest. I've had it for a while. It was just uh, like finding $20 in the bottom of a box lot at the auction. It um, didn't get thrown out. I just decided to list it and I got $20 for it. Even with the uh, little broken tip on the uh, cape there. I saw this at a garage sale. I got them down to $10 on it. It's a Sony digital handy cam. Seems to be pretty complete. All the instructions. You can have the original uh, price tag. I bought it from Target for about uh, $400. And that was back in 2011. It's kind of the, why I like uh, garage sales more than thrift stores. You can, you can dicker with these people. Got it for $10, sold it for $125. These sunglasses sold on my what seems to be once a month uh, Bonanza sale. These are a pair of Lacoste designer. They've got the uh, alligators on them. Now I found these in a piece of furniture that I was bidding on at the auction. It was a little cabinet with a couple of drawers and the handles were missing off the drawers. But I was able to uh, jimmy them open before uh, the auction got to that piece of furniture. And the drawer was full of these old designer sunglasses. And uh, this is the first pair to sell, but they sold for $60. By the way, I bought that piece of uh, furniture for $25, and I have it in the corner of my living room holding up a nice vintage lamp. It's a set of uh, Roly Poly Dorothy Thorpe style cocktail glasses. They have this nice uh, intricate pattern. It's a raised silvery pattern on them. 
These were in the outside ring at the local auction that I go to where people kind of just empty their garages, bring it in a pickup and put it in a row and the auctioneer and a truck comes by and we start bidding on the row for a choice in the row. And this was in a box that I won on a $2.50 bid and this set of six glasses sold for $50. This is a nice little Sony stereo amplifier from the 70s. It has removable wood sides. And uh, I acquired this uh, via a Craigslist ad. Somebody was advertising a turntable. And when I talked to him, he said he had some other stuff. So I met him at this storage facility and I ended up buying about uh, five units, amplifiers and turntables for $100. And this particular amplifier just sold for $190. This is a pair of Edwin Clapp hand-lasted shoes. I've had them forever. Actually, I bought them in Arizona when I first started selling full-time on eBay back in uh, fall of 2013. And uh, I think it's because of the size. They took so long. They are size seven and a half. Excellent shoes. And uh, they sold for a best offer of $55 to a gentleman in Japan. And this was back before I was using the global shipping program and they're still listed and he paid for uh, first class shipping. So hopefully that will go all right. This is a pair of German cooking stones, Heiserstein. Um, I found these this spring at an estate sale, actually on the second day of an estate sale. So they were half price. I got them for three bucks a piece. And uh, they're in the back of a cabinet. And I thought, these are just weird enough that I ought to give them a try. And uh, they must have been brought back from Germany because everything's in German. Looks like even the uh, price tag of 64 euro or something. And um, they finally sold. Somebody bought both of them at the same time. And they got $80 for the pair. This is a Pioneer SX737 stereo receiver from the 70s. I bought this along with uh, a Pioneer turntable for $300 last April. The turntable sold within about a month for uh, $580. And this one, I don't know why it didn't sell because these Pioneer receivers are like gold. But uh, I finally took a best offer of $275. This is a 13 inch TV VCR combo. The General Electric Kitchen Vision. It's on a little swiveling pedestal. And I picked this up at a garage sale a couple months ago for $5. And it sold for $100. Two more sets of these U.S. Marine Corps photos from World War II sold. can't believe I hesitated on buying these. They were $4 each at a, an estate sale. And uh, these two sold to the same gentleman. 50 bucks a piece. This is a vintage Ike Walton fishing pole. They're made in Wisconsin. And I acquired this at an auction. I, had, I bought the uh, remainder of a row of items. This was just part of it, so they don't have any money into it. And um, the only weird thing about is packing these does come apart somewhat but the box was still 62 inches long I ended up using uh, a couple of those um, triangular long boxes that uh, the post office provides and it sold for uh, thirty dollars another one of these uh, pre-recorded reel-to-reel -reel tapes sold I've got a lot of them I need to put some more up this is where the guy had uh, indexed everything he recorded and even what he recorded it on and the date he recorded it. I've put a few of them up and uh, the same guy has bought two now. So this one went for ten dollars. Got my little science experiment going here. I found this uh, eight track car uh, deck for a dollar and it works. 